Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Wicket the Ewok. I do have Wicket with me because he's cute. Your little Wicket plushie. You I do. I there? love him. I'm holding him right now. Okay. He's your uh, emotional support stuffy. He's my emotional support, support Wicket. Okay. okay. So, so we might we might need to squeeze Wicket uh, pretty hard after this video. <laughs> um, That's so wrong. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm putting Wicket down now. Continue. So we've got some more dismal Disney news. I just feel I kind of I'm almost starting to feel bad a little bit for them because it's like when it rains it pours dude it's yeah they're not doing well in the PR department at all in fact they're sort of uh failing on uh land sea and air yeah this week yeah uh the first big failure of course was Galaxy's Edge kind of landing with a thud which led to the exit of uh, Catherine Powell and a big shuffle at the top mm -hmm. of of the Disney Parks right um management team um, the second, that would be land. Uh, air would be the Skyliner accident. Yeah, we'll call it an accident. The because it, or the kerfuffle. The kerfuffle. The un unscheduled downtime, tempor <laughs> temporary closure. Unscheduled downtime, yeah, the temporary closure. Uh, it wasn't yeah. an accident or a crash, even though the vehicles crashed into each other, which makes it a crash. Yeah, and now we've got some um, uh, heartbreaking news from Disney Cruise Lines, which is not something Disney needed this week, uh, but... It did happen. We are going to report on it. We're not going to shy away from it. And uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. there it is. So before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. We do talk about Disney sometimes because they own damn near everything. They do. But it is not the focus, the primary focus of the channel, just so you know, because we're going to get these Disney fans come in and be like, oh my God, you're so negative. Uh, you know, I you're don't so negative. I really care. I, I just, really I'm just tired of it. You know, and uh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, go watch another channel. Go watch another channel. If you we'll... want to watch the, you know, oh my God, it's Pixie does magic and wonderful, beautiful. Ah, ah, ah. This isn't the channel for you. This is not that channel. We are, uh, we, we do like Disney, but you know what? Disney has been striking out lately. Um, so yeah, land, sea, and air. Let's talk about Disney Cruise Lines first and what their plans were. And then we'll talk about what happened. Uh, well, this let's week. talk yeah, what, about what happened. Like what they, they just recently have announced all kinds of, uh, they won. Well, it was funny. They announced on their, <sighs> on their parks blog that they're number one. And, and, and according to Condé Nast trailer. No. Yes. They won number one. If you look at the rankings for the large ships, they're number one. And their percentage isn't that great. But it's still like a B. You know, A in some places. Right. But the medium ships, uh, they got number nine. And... Crystal Ocean Cruises got a 97% wow. and compared to their 88.72%. So yes, they won number one on large ships. Not by much. Uh, yeah. They got ninth. They didn't mention the ninth place. No, they didn't mention that. Disney is... <laughs> on the medium ships. Oh, God. So Disney is banking very heavily on the cruise lines right now. They can't get any more blood out of the parks, really. Uh -uh. They are moving on to cruise lines. They have uh, three new ships coming between yeah. now and, and 2023. 2023. It's going to be one a year for 2020 to 2023. And they have a new island coming. Uh, they, they they purchased or they're renting. leasing... Renting. They all the time say renting. Rent leasing another private island. Um, and the one thing that Disney Cruise Line does that a lot of other cruise lines uh, don't do, um, specializes in, is family trips. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you bring the kids with you right. on your trip. Meaning that when mom and dad bring their kids on the Disney Cruise, uh, they're able to leave their kids with Disney cast members in designated areas on the ship. Which adults aren't supposed to be in other than the cast no. members, which you're going to talk about. Yeah, um, for safekeeping. So basically babysitters on, on the cruise ships. Well, you were on the ships before it was full of people. And there were areas that are the kids areas that they let you and take pictures before the kids yeah. were there. But after the kids were there, it's not supposed to be, uh, it's only for Yeah, kids. I was, uh, once upon a time when we had media access, I was able to go in and take a bunch of pictures of the kids area before the ship had set sail, before kids were in it. Uh, afterwards, it's only designated personnel and uh, children, obviously other adults are not allowed. Why are we bringing this up? There's a reason. Just, Just rip the tight. damn Band-Aid off. Rip yeah. the damn Band-Aid off. Because the latest black eye for Disney is that the Disney Cruise youth entertainment coach uh, was accused of touching uh, children. Right. Now, this happened back in April. 
Yeah, this is important because this kind of went away for a while. And uh, I know people... Well, it never, it never came out. It never came until out. Until now. Um, and now I think it's come out because it's going to court. And the 28th, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, Disney had, had buried it, basically, because right now they are really trying to ramp up their cruise business. And again, one of the biggest... Um, uh, incentives for families to take a cruise on a Disney cruise ship is that you can leave your kids uh -huh. with cast members and mom and dad can go, do, you know, go out to eat or watch a show or whatever. And now families are probably going to pause and be like, do I really want to leave my kids mm -hmm. with the, the Disney crew members? Well, I, figured, um, I think Disney didn't want it out there because they figured, okay, we'll have the Skyliner opening. We'll have, you know, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and all these things. So, so you know, we'll have all these positive things. So when this does get out, because I knew it was going to get out. It would get out. It would get out this yeah. month. There was no way it was going to not because it was going to be re released and that. Um, that they'd have all this positive news to bury it with. <laughs> and then that just didn't work out, um, sadly. It did It did not. And, uh, you know, again, um, it, 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 it's horrible for the family to have to go through this. Uh, and well, we're not taking a... Like, I want to be very clear. Like, we're not... We're just talking about how Disney tends to make things go away. Well, I was but, just going to say, as a teacher, people are probably like, well, how could this happen? How could this happen? Okay, I am going to say this. I'm a teacher. And I have to go through clearances. And in PA, clearances are ridiculous because of what happened with that Penn State incident yeah. with the coach and all that. Um, so it is absolutely ridiculous in PA, the hoops you have to jump through for clearances. That being said, even if somebody, you know, this guy was there, he probably passed clearances because they don't catch people that are going to do it. This isn't like, what was that, Minority Report? No, oh, pre-crime. Or pre-crime. Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah, Minority Report. Report, yeah. You don't know this. So um, they probably did run the background checks. And basically, he might have had a clear record because he hadn't been caught yet. Mm. That doesn't mean, you know, he never did anything. It just meant he was never caught doing something. So um, when this happens, and this happens at different parks, it happens at different places and schools and different things, people are like, how could this happen? It's actually going to happen quite easily because um, they could run every check and do everything they're supposed to do, and this could still happen if they have never been caught. Yeah, so um, this is not news that uh, uh, that Disney wanted to come out. No, uh, sure. Definitely, especially not this week, not within a week of the Skyliner accident. No. Uh, not within you know two weeks of them having to shuffle uh, people at the top of uh, parks and, and resorts, which I think I think uh, are uh, consumer products, I guess is called now, which I believe in, includes. Oh, they're shuffling the at resorts line. too, but that's another story. Yeah, and there there is more shuffling coming. By mm -hmm. the way, we've got cast members reaching out to us, telling us it's bad. You know who you are. You know wink, who you wink. are. It's um, bad. So uh, should we talk about? kind of what happened yeah, i can't imagine those poor parents probably feel terrible because you know you wouldn't i, I can just imagine they feel awful because they feel like it's their fault i'm sure they do but go yeah ahead. yeah so um so the story uh the story was that a youth entertainment host who would be one of the people watching the kids right you know in one of the the designated children's entertainment area um touched a 10 year old boy through his pants on multiple occasions, mm -hmm. they have it. Supposedly, they have it on video. They no, they they got it on video. They do have it on video. So I do hope they go back to the other videos. If they have any other surveillance videos with him, the other kids, they check those as well to make sure this is an isolated incident and not, uh, you know, multiple possible, you know, victims of his abuse. Yeah, alleged so, abuse. I'm alleged saying. abuse. Just uh, the CYA, but you know, yeah. he said he did it. So yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know. People are like, well, why why are you reporting on this now? Because I, I put something on Twitter about it. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, I can't believe th this on top of everything else. And it's because it was on the down low. I mean, I hadn't heard anything about it. We didn't know it. about it. And now every news outlet's covering it. And that's what I want to talk about. Like, Disney, uh, if you go out there and you Google Disney Cruise Line, first you get their website, and that's just all this guy's face for pages. That's all there is. So where Disney would like to see, wow, how excited are we for the new, new cruise ships? How excited are we for the new island? I can't wait to to, to book a, a trip on the uh, the Disney the Magic. The number one cruise line in the that number large one This is the medium line. ship category. The Magic, it was on the Magic. Yeah. That is the, the medium ship category where they rank number nine. So, you know, you might want to watch this to make sure you rank number one later. Uh, yeah, so um, this again, that's like with the Skyliner. People are going to be out there looking for news on the Skyliner. What comes up page after page after page of... Uh, accidents. Yeah. Accidents. You know, well, no, I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah. You can't call it an accident because Disney fans will 
call you out. It no, was just a minor incident. It was a minor incident. It wasn't a crash, even though the vehicles wasn't like hit USA into Today each other and there was a crash. They USA slammed Today. into each other. Uh, Skyliner nightmare. USA Today. People were hospitalized again. Yeah, it was on the download. Disney is. They have got to be in full-on PR freakout mode. And this stuff always happens on the weekends. Did you ever notice that? Like, this stuff always, always happens. Does it? Yeah, well, yeah, that did. On the weekends. Last weekend was the Skyliner. So you know, like, that that PR meeting on Monday morning is going to be a, a great-A shit these show. I PR people. Like, it's Find like a different job. every week. So. Every week, there's something else coming out about Disney. And then we also... Uh, did the video a couple days ago where uh, JP Morgan is slashing Disney's uh, projected earnings for Q4. Mm -hmm. They're like, it's going to be bad. It probably isn't. This this is not helping. This is not helping because how many people out there, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, backlash over this because this is, you know, seems to be an isolated incident. But Hopefully it's isolated. I'm waiting though because. Well, they're going to open up Pandora's box to here. to check this, mm -hmm. to check those videos and they better check other videos and make sure it was an isolated incident. And I hope it was an isolated incident. So how many families are going to be like, let's go look for information on the Disney cruise. Oh, look, uh, this guy's touching our kids at the kids center. Wow, let's not go there. Let's go to uh, Norwegian or well, Crystal. Well, they are or... pushing the cruise lines. Like, you don't understand. Disney yeah, is it's... pushing the cruise yeah, lines constantly on their parks blog. They, they've they been trying to get everybody to go there um, instead of the parks. And they it's like the number one thing they're pushing because they have three new ships coming and we get those don't just pay for themselves. So that is their number one push. And this probably is not going to help them much. No, and that's because the, they're having a hard enough time, you know, trying to get people to go on cruises instead of going to the theme parks. Well, they're really expensive. Now, they do include pretty much everything. Yeah, they do. But um, And they're pretty cool. But they're really expensive. And honestly, expensive, when you yeah. leave the port, you know, it's hit or miss on whether you have ser service for your cell phone. Uh, yeah. And, you know, your bill could be a $600 phone bill. Not speaking from experience or anything, but probably am. You know? <laughs> So, yes. you know, it, there's a lot of things yeah. that, you know, people mm -hmm. don't take into consideration for these cruises and they are very expensive. Um, so a, a family took, did this. Um, they probably you know, spent five, six, seven thousand dollars and uh, their kid got groped on, on mm -hmm. the Disney magic. So here's where it gets interesting. Um, so Disney Cruise Line did speak out. They said, we have zero tolerance for this type of unacceptable right. behavior. They, but they did. They got rid of him immediately. Yeah. When we became aware of the allegation, it was reported the law enforcement and the crew member was removed from duty permanently. That was like six months ago. Right. And you haven't heard anything about and it. They, and then, and then the, the state attorney spokeswoman, spokeswoman said, uh, if there are any other victims out there, please contact our office or Miami-Dade Police Department because they're trying to find other victims. If, if this person did it once uh, to one kid, I'm sure he probably did to multiple kids and beyond that how do we know he's the only one doing it well well not just that but the way they described what happened and it was written from a camera i mean he must have been used to doing it and getting away with i mean i can't you know i can't say that with all certainty but it seemed kind of you know out there yeah. you know what i mean yeah. it wasn't like he was trying to hide in a corner or anything like that so that's why i'm like no. you know sounds you know he must have done it before um Possibly, and that's what they're. I think they're afraid of too. So they're trying to see if anybody else has any incidences. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, it's they don't know. I mean, could this open Pandora's box, and there could be like a whole? I mean, I hope not. Uh, no, I hope not. And that's what you know. I want to be very, very clear. Very clear. We're uh, reporting on the news. Yeah, we're reporting this because I, I just want to show you like how bad it is for disney right now in the pr department right um I, this is a horrible thing. fire after fire and um and i wanted to make sure people understood because a lot of people are like well, how could this happen and, and i'm not defending or excusing the behavior or defending or excusing disney but i am saying i work with kids i'm a teacher i have clearances and i know that all the clearances that we have to go through fbi fingerprint mm. police i i mean i had to have old employers verify that i never did anything wrong because of stuff and um they're ridiculous in PA, but most places aren't quite that ridiculous. But when they do a check, if you haven't been arrested or uh, caught doing anything, it's going to show a clear background check. Does that mean that you're innocent? Hell no. It just means that you've never been caught. So that's yeah. how this stuff happens. It's not like, you know, they were, they probably did their due diligence, but I don't even know. I mean, well, here's the thing I want to know, um, cause that's, that's for a teaching position. How did they, how much do they vet these, these, uh, crew members? I don't know off the top of my head, but usually, 
usually if they're working with kids, you have to have those clearances. Well, that's why they have the cameras. Now, I will say, um, you know, they better have done clearance checks or they're uh, in big trouble and they deserve what they get. Well, they that's, didn't. that's what I'm afraid of is like, what if they open the box and it turns out that they've got people watching kids that haven't been. Well, you vetted. should reach out and ask them because I'd like to know that because as a parent, that's a good question. But I know even at the school, like they were remodeling the schools here and all and the work crews, anybody that was actually around the children mm -hmm. had to have their full clearances be in the building. So, I mean, even if they're working on construction, they were expected to have full clearances. So, well, um, they're at sea though. Uh, does, does the law apply to Disney when they're at sea? Like it does oh, here. Well, in they should follow the law of where they're based. Well, they, they said Miami Dade cause it's, 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 uh, the port is Miami. Right. They, they should the follow magic, the law but... of the laws of the port they, they're from is what it should go by. Um, he's, I guess he's British. Uh, I'm sure in Britain they check that too, but, um, that's a good question. Uh, we should reach out and ask them. They probably won't answer us. I don't think they'll answer. I, I think they're going to be very careful what answers they give. It's Disney, like, when they, this happens, they, they go into like, What shut is down. the process for hiring? I mean, I'm assuming, cause this is what it is, uh, in the, in the United States anyway, mm -hmm. is you cannot be working with kids as even, even, even scouts, you have to have clearances. Um, at least here you do. And a lot of these, anytime you're working with children, I think it's a national thing because you have to have, to have a, a national FBI check and you have to be fingerprinted. You have to do, there's so many things you have to jump through to work with kids. And I'm pretty sure it's on a national level. I know it is here, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. I, they would have, if they were doing their due diligence and following what the law they should be doing with someone working with kids, they yeah. should have been checked. If they were not. They are in big F in trouble because you are, that is just no, 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 no. No. And this is coming. I mean, I, I just totally forgot because this thing about uh, Castaway Key, when I was on Castaway Key, which is Disney's Island, uh, I was there and um, I was doing a lot. I was filming a lot of stock footage for Oh, for uh, the videos. place that they tried to race us from? Yeah, the pl place they tried to race us from. And uh, that's a long, long mm -hmm. story. If you've been following us on Twitter, um, yeah, I'll just give you a very brief, the, the the Disney blog, the theme park blog that we worked on for nearly three years. That we built from the ground up. That we built from the ground up, that we wrote thousands of articles for. Yesterday, uh, Geeky gets a notification that her username, her email had been changed. And it turns out that they, they took our bylines off of all of our articles. Yeah, and it's ironic. And the funny thing is, um, from most, like 98% of the articles I wrote, I never was paid. Yeah. My so, payment was my name on the article. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> so. paid. Uh, they were getting free labor out of Kiki. And that, so now we don't even have the byline. However, the internet never forgets. And there's quite a digital paper trail uh, proving that we did, in fact, work there. Because I'm waiting for people to be like, oh, you're just saying that just to say, that you, you know, because you never worked well, on Disney stuff. That's why you always keep backups of everything. <laughs> keep backups of everything. Anyway, I was uh, filming stock footage on Castaway Key for a promotional video mm -hmm. and I got too close to the, the playground area mm -hmm. and they actually shushed me away. They were they were nice about it, but they're like, you cannot film this because you might accidentally put somebody's kid on camera. Yeah, and that's And that's I smart. was like, I completely understand. I didn't realize this was, you know. Well, being as how, that's how they were with that, I can't think they did not have checks. Yeah, um, but the thing is, is, you know, like Geeky was saying, it's like, it just, you know, just because you haven't been caught doesn't mean that you're not right. doing anything. So that's what I wanted to. I, that's why I wanted to do this video. I want to make sure you understand that you know, hey, look, I'm I'm not happy with everything Disney does either. However, this one might not have been something they could have foreseen because if they did do their do, due diligence and they did run background checks, like they probably should have, mm. um, and I'm sure they probably did. It might not come up that this person did anything wrong because unless they've been caught, it's not going to show up on a background check. Yeah. So, I mean, they might, there's, I don't know if there's any way, unless they didn't do a background check, that they could have avoided this. Yeah, but again, you know, just all the all the bad press that they're getting, this is, they're really pushing uh, the Disney Cruise Line. They're, they're already, you know, taking bookings for 2021. They're trying to get people to book on the new ships. They keep adding ports, they adding keep, cruises. They keep, they added ones in New Orleans now. Yeah, New Orleans. And um, before this, they had a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, they had a bit of a kerfuffle with um, Castaway Key. They left uh, uh, cast members on the island. Oh, now, yeah. we did say, though, that they do have bunkers on they the do. islands. They do prepare for this. But uh, it was it was the relative. They had time to get them out of there. Too. They had time they to get them out of there. They, they did. But sometimes, you know, I, I mean... That's it is standard procedure. We actually kind of kind of went to bat for Disney in that video. Um, but I mean, we're talking just I mean, weekly barrage of just ridiculous stuff happening. Mm -hmm. today. And like when bad things, when things that are are stupid and and we then are bad decisions, we will call it out. 
uh, no problem. But there are things like this, which I just like want people to, you know, be aware that this happened. Be, you know, take, you know, as a parent, um, take that into consideration um, when you do any kind of vacation with your kids. Yeah. Um, but also understand that, you know, they might have ran every background check ever and this person didn't have to come up because he hadn't been caught. So, um, you know, take it for what you will. Yeah. So that is the uh, daily uh, Disney dismal news. Um, and it does seem like it's every, it does seem like it's every I need every to hug weekend. Wicked. I just need a yeah, hug. Hug Wicked. I'm a mom hold and him, teacher and it's, just, it's hard for me. I but need yeah, can you imagine? Wicked. I mean, as a parent, I would feel horribly guilty uh, if I left my kids with... I know. That's why I want to cry for these parents because I am sure they thought they were doing something fun a family vacation. I, I'm literally ready to cry. I, I mean, I can't imagine how they feel. You're probably, you know, you left the kids with a cast member you know, thinking they're going to have fun while you guys go out to eat, you're dancing, you're going to a show, you're having a good old time while your kid is getting uh, uh, fondled. Right, you know? and you, you, and you and, thought they'd be okay. And you thought they'd be okay. Now, and they're, and this child was 10, so this child isn't like, you know, he's three and he might not remember. He's 10. Yeah, and it's on a Disney bubble. Like, people, and that's the thing, too. People, they talk about the Disney bubble. People seem to forget that, like, you know, Disney still is the real world. You know, they think that nothing bad can happen at Disney. And sometimes you know, bad, th I mean, bad things happen at Disney. Kids have drowned, uh, the alligator attack, the, you know. Let's just bring them all up. Make well, no, I'm more. just saying, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, you know, things have happened. Sometimes those things are very preventable too, but people just are like, they, I think they let their guard down a little bit. Cause they're like, Hey, it's Disney. It's safe. You know, Mickey's not going to hurt my kids, you know, uh, so this is not good. Always this watch is, your kids. Always watch your kids. And, you know, understand that, you know you they, they even the company might have thought they did everything right and and something like this could happen and i'm literally crying right now because i feel so bad for that little kid oh, and his she is <laughs> so, I that. she is um, i love kids Not so in that bad way <laughs> uh, yeah i'm a mom and teacher you i love clarify kids. that uh, but so yeah this is it's just not good. This is not good, Disney. I mean, this is again we're we're talking like almost weekly now. They've got some big uh you know they're getting they're taking blood and they go out of their way to, to to bury it you know they do like we didn't hear about this for six months oh no i heard nothing about this no they buried it until we they were couldn't on bury this all it. the time that's my job i you know again if you want to to follow us uh, i have a story of on the of this story on pirates and princesses as well our, my Disney blog is piratesandprincesses.net. Yes, it's pink. Yes, it's girly. Yes, it's sparkly. I'm flipping geeky sparkles. What do you expect? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, not good. So we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, given the way Disney's been, I'm sure we'll have some more bad news <laughs> within the next day or two. I mean, it just seems like it's nonstop. Well, hopefully it's not this kind of bad news. Not this kind. I mean, this, this is horrible. And, and we're not taking any uh, any uh, uh, pleasure in, in this at all, uh, at all. We did this knowing we'll probably get demonetized for yeah. even covering it. And yeah, we still I mean, did it because it's important. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants on Clownfish TV. This is Neon and Geeky. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.